Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Andrew Newland with Newtography.com um, and today I'm making a video to demonstrate image stacking or focus stacking for fstoplounge.com. Okay, so essentially what this is doing is we're taking a macro shot. A lot of times this is done with insects or flowers and what you'll notice is if you take just a regular macro shot, um, you're, you have a pretty great depth of field. Um, or a pretty shallow depth of field, I should say. So you can't really get everything into focus. So what image stacking does is you take a sequence of images, moving the focal point back further and further, and you stack them all together, and that gives you a shot with everything in focus. There's some um, really incredible insect photography out there that is um, achieved this way. Uh, check out Alex Wild, alexanderwild.com. He's got some amazing stuff. All right, let's get into this. Um, so you can use a macro lens, which is what I had on here initially, but I was kind of spatially confined to get everything in this little square right here. So I switched it up and I threw a 50 millimeter on here with an extension tube. And what an extension tube does is basically say your minimum focal distance is six inches. If you put an extension tube on, bam, you decrease that focal distance to say an inch, two inches, three inches, somewhere in there. The longer the tubes, the shallower or the shorter your minimal minimum focus distance is. Okay, so got my 50 millimeter and extension tube and I just pulled this um, decoration here, uh, slid it over off my dining room table and I am going to, let's see, I will record this for you for a second and show you here um, my focal distance. So as you can see, I am pretty close and that's everything I've got in my uh, focal plane there. That's the back of it. Scoot it back, scoot it back, scoot it back. That's the front of it. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna start taking pictures about right here, take a shot, move it back a little bit, take a shot, move it back a little bit, take a shot, and just keep doing that over and over and over. All right, so basically, we're just taking a series of images and we're gonna combine them in Photoshop. We want to um, overlap the sharpness in each image so we have a little wiggle room whenever we're playing in um, Photoshop. And you wanna shoot a little wider because whenever you stack these images, it's gonna shift and tilt and it's gonna crop a little bit. So you wanna shoot wide because it's automatically gonna crop in some. All right, so let's get to shooting. All right, so start at the back, take a shot, pull the focus back a little bit, take another shot. Uh, my settings are F4, just to add a little bit more depth of field. If you want to bump it way up, you can, but it's gonna be very difficult. You're gonna have to shoot uh, longer exposures. But anyway, I've got an F4, uh, 1 20th of a second, and ISO 400. Got that shot, move it back a little more. And just repeat the process over and over, taking the shots, moving the focus back, taking the next shot, moving the focus back, taking the next shot. All right. So that's it, sequence of images. Keep just moving that focus point back and shoot, move it back, shoot, move it back. Make sure the sharpness overlaps. And now let's go ahead and take it into Photoshop. All right. Let's take this in and put it in Photoshop. <laughs> All right, so now what we want to do is go to Photoshop, File, um, Scripts, and Load Files into Stack. Okay, so uh, your camera should have taken them in sequential order number-wise, so what you're going to do is find your images, select them all, open, and make sure you tick this box that says Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images, and then OK. And what that's gonna do is make you a new image and stack all these in a layer. And this might take a minute, so I'm gonna use some fast forward magic right here. Ta-da! All right, so after it's um, stacked them all and aligned them, as you can see around the edges here, 
Uh, like I was telling you earlier, when it aligns them, it kind of has to shift some of them around so we have this dead space. Um, we're going to crop that in here in a minute. But the next thing we want to do is go ahead and um, shift here and select all of our layers. Uh, what I did there is I just clicked the top layer, then I held shift and clicked the bottom layer and selected all of them. Um, and then we're going to go into edit. We're going to click auto blend layers and make sure that we pick stacked images um, and click OK. And what this is doing is basically it's applying a layer mask to every single image and it is revealing all of the sharp parts of each image. So it's just going to give us a completely sharp image from front to back um, for our final image once it has completely blended. And we're going to throw in a little more fast forward magic. And boom, we have our stacked image. Um, now, as you can see, this part right here, which I'm going to crop out anyways, is out of focus because I never took that shot in focus um, because my plan was, you know, like I told you earlier, shoot wide and then crop in because you don't know how it's going to shift when it's aligning. So um, that's out of focus. There's a little um, out of focusness going on up here, um, but essentially what I was going for is this ball and this ball and this in here because I planned on cropping. So I'm gonna flatten image layer, flatten image, um, pull my crop tool out and crop to where I wanted to get my composition to begin with, which is right there. And we have our stacked image. Uh, everything front to back is in focus and this just isn't something that's really possible um, without this technique. Uh, you can up your uh, f-stop and get a really small aperture but you're gonna have to be shooting really long shutter speeds and you still aren't gonna get everything in crystal clear focus. So that's what this is for. That's what image stacking and focus stacking is for. Um, this example is a little uncommon. A lot of the times you will do this with flowers and insects and things like that. But this is the tutorial just to show you how to do it and I hope it helped. Um, if you like this video please click like and please subscribe to Newtography and F-Stop Lounge YouTube. Um, if you're watching this here on Newtography I have unfortunately disabled all comments because I don't have the time to reply to them. So if you would like to um, comment or give your input, feel free to follow me on um, any of the social media, uh, facebook.com, Andrew Newland, or Newtography, um, Instagram, at Newland, Twitter, at Andrew Newland, um, Google Plus, Andrew Newland, or Newtography. Um, yeah, just hit me up on whatever social media you are most at home. And I would love to talk to you and get your input. And I hope this helped you guys. And thanks for watching. Love you, bye.